up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. We're breaking out Jeff's marker today to help you to get more out of the incline bench press. No doubt one of the best upper chest exercises you can do if you can figure out a way to minimize the front delt from dominating the movement. You see, we know that these two muscles, the front delt and the upper chest fibers, they're really close to each other, which means they can really start dominating one or the other if we don't do the exercise correctly. So I wanna carry over and show you the two biggest problems with the exercise that most people are making. And I can tell you, it was backed up with a recent trip to the gym where our International Chest Day, Friday now, a lot of guys getting their swole on for the weekend, there were so many guys doing incline bench incorrectly at the gym that I, feel, I felt like it warranted a video to recover this important topic. So first of all, what is the angle that you wanna use on the bench in order to hit the upper chest the most? Now, I'm not saying that you wanna totally exclude the front delt, but the fact of the matter is our front delts get a lot of attention from a lot of the other exercises we not only do in the gym, but just everyday activities that we do in front of our, our, our body. So if I were to do a shoulder press, you guys know that we would do an upright shoulder press is gonna maximize the attention that the shoulders get, the front delts get. Why? Because it's straight up against gravity. You can see this muscle is working and shortening up against the force of gravity, okay, right through here. Well, if I were to back off the angle of the bench, 30 degrees to say 60 degrees, which is one of the most common places that people will do an incline bench press from, then you're gonna, yes, shift the focus down a little bit, but you can see this muscle is a pretty large muscle and it's not enough. It's not enough to put the focus down through the mid belly of the upper chest. So 60 is not enough. You might wanna go a little bit lower and you can see me make that adjustment here on the bench down to 45 degrees. Well, 45 degrees is again better. Anytime you start going lower and lower and lower, you're shifting that focus down. But remember, flat bench press, completely flat, zero degrees, that would represent one that's gonna target more of the middle chest. So at 45 degrees, you're still not even really there. You've got a little bit more room to play. And as a matter of fact, research shows that 30 degrees is the best angle for targeting the upper chest. Now, that leads to the second point. And as you see me bang out a couple reps of the 30 degrees, notice the position of my shoulder. Now the position of my shoulder is key, and this is why the 30 degree angle works better. Because when you look at these two muscles, again, I talked about the dominance of the front delt. When the front delt becomes dominant, our shoulders tend to round forward. And I know a lot of people watching this are probably sitting here right now like this watching the video. That's common, unfortunately. But what happens is the front delt is actually put in more of a position of power in relation to the chest. It's actually here more willing, proud, standing out, actually willing and able to push more quickly and sort of spring to the, to the task more quickly than your upper chest. The way we can sort of silence that is by getting it back where it belongs, allowing the chest now to be in a better position to contract. And the way we have to do that is through positioning our shoulders in the right, the right direction. So we want to be, make sure that whenever we press, the shoulder blades have to be back and down, okay? Back and down. What that does immediately, you can see here, is it puts the front delt again back in its place and allows the upper chest to be in a better position of pushing power. Because we're laying back flatter, 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 flatter on a 30 degree versus a 60, we're actually allowing that to take place more naturally. So you have to not only rely on the fact that the bench is helping you get there, but you have to consciously be sure that you're contracting those shoulder blades to ensure that it stays there because a lot of us will continue to press and over time, even as we fatigue, more and more we're trying to recruit a little bit of help from the front delt and that's when the exercise falls apart. So guys, I hope you found this kind of detailed breakdown of the incline bench to be helpful. Remember, this is about putting the science back in strength. I don't like to just tell you, oh, do incline bench because it's good. We all know it's good. It's why it's good that allows you to get better results faster when you follow our training. And guys, if you're looking for a complete training program, step by step, Put the science back in your strength. You can head to athlinex.com right now and get our Athlinex training system. If you found this video helpful, if you like Jeff's marker, make sure you let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure to break it out again and do more of these detailed breakdowns. All right guys, we'll be back here again real soon.